Naira now worthless. Nigerians should not save with it. Economic Submate Group. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. CEO Laole Laoye Jayola made his comment at the launch of a NESG 2022 Macroeconomic Outlook Report on Tuesday in Abuja. The Chief Executive Officer, CEO, Nigeria Economic Summit Group, NESG, Laoyi Jayola, has voiced his concerns over the fallen value of the Naira. Mr. Jayola made his comment, made his comment at the launch of the NESG 2022 Macroeconomic Outlook Report on Tuesday in Abuja. So, now that he is saying this, that the Naira is now worthless. The Nigerian should not save with it. And at the same time, I think sometime last year, they banned or they said people to stop trading with Bitcoin. So which, why, how should people who do not have access to dollars, people who at least uh, their business has not gotten to the point where they save with, um, you know, dollars. Now, how this value? They have banned, was it not Bitcoin or crypto? I don't even know the exact one. How do they want people to survive? You see, in this country, they make policies without, the, without caring for the masses. Know this and know peace, that this administration is not after your well-being. It is until you know that these people do not have your interests as hard, that you're going to understand some certain things that happen. Okay, now they're coming out to say it. Even after launching their so-called Inara app. Even that, that is to say that one too is, is as good as useless. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that not what they're trying to say? <laughs> At the end of the day, it turns out that anything this particular government shove, like they shove any idea, that that idea is going to work perfectly fine. They keep shoving ideas that will help the people out. They only implement the one that is going to extort the people and cause the people pain. Let's find out more about this Naira losing its value every day. Not that we don't know, but let's find out more. The news in detail, please stay with us. Why should you tell anybody in Nigeria to store his money in Naira? Mr. Jayola said. When your interest rate on Naira in some places is even lower than the interest rate of some current currency. The NESG report criticized the Buhari-led regime's approach to its fiscal policies, policies, noting that the challenge to the poor forex supply in Nigeria is mainly attributable to the lack of diversification of forex resources. Of forex sources with colossal dependence on crude oil export proceeds and more recently, foreign borrowings. The NSEG report recommended the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area, AFCFTA, effective border control, removing capital controls and encouraging the inflow of stable investment, prioritizing non-oil forest success, enhancing the quality of import substitute and the fixing of local refineries and construction of new ones, to boost the availability of foreign exchange. The NESG recommended the Buhari-led regime put in place a clear forex policy to instill investors' confidence and the need to determine the fair value of the Naira. Faced with the continued dwindling of external reserves, the Apex Bank resorted to exchange rate devaluation and forex rationing among end-users, the report said. These challenges send the wrong signal to prospective investors who are more concerned about the safety of the investment, particularly forex repatriation of maturity of investment in addition to returns. The Central Bank of Nigeria and other officials of the Buhari administration have insisted that Nigeria has gained strength in recent months, saying the pressure against the national currency was unleashed by corrupt elements and the foreign exchange market. 
The administration asks Nigeria to expect the Naira to continue to gain over major world currencies over the next year and recently launched the Inara project to make citizens transact and strengthen the digital version of the currency. My people, have you heard it? Have you heard it? Have you heard it? At the end of the day, what does this tell you? Did I not say the inner app is as good as useless? <laughs> they come up with policies to impoverish people the more. I've said it. The next person who is going to be coming in to become the president of Nigeria, if he wants to revive the economy, if he wants to revive Nigeria, you see the advisors, ministers, commissioners, counselors, he will need to pick them carefully as if he's picking rice. You know rice now. This one Nigerian has to have stones. You have to carefully pick it so as to make sure you don't even chew on not any grain of sand. That is how careful you have to be. That is how careful you have to be. The person would need to pick people who they want the growth he seeks. People who at the end of the day they want Nigeria to be in a better place so they are going to be able to give their best. People who when it seems like their best is not good enough can bow out and say you know what I'm not good enough. In fact I've been following this person's particular policy. His is good enough. Hers is good enough. Yes. Somebody who is that hunger, who hungers that Nigeria becomes better. These people will come and tell us that the Naira is this, that the Naira is that. They'll fool you. And at the end of the day, they'll still want you to clap for them for basic things that they should be the one doing. I've never had it this. I don't think Nigeria have ever had this, 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 this relationship rough. Sincerely. The policies where we say the thing will favor us. These people no go do one. You no ever come outside here and say, ah, this policy will it will make your life better. Never. But you see the way we go come on money for your pocket. You reach to switch my people. This is what I'm even talking about. This N if this particular NESG. Kudos to them for coming out to speak up. Save your money in the bank. By the time you are pulling it out, it has lost value. That is if a bank have not even dictated almost half of the money or all the money. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it all boils down to us selecting people who are competent enough and who are builders for this country. Come 2023. On this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.